I, I don't know anything about this. Will, will we finally learn why Wanda Maximoff is called the Scarlet Witch? Um, yes, maybe. Uh, no, maybe. I don't really. I don't. I don't really know. Why is Hamlet called Hamlet? I don't know. Uh, hey, I'm Paul Bettany, and Esquire has asked me to explain a few things about my life and my career, and I think they probably need explaining. So let's dive in. Yes, there is a fan theory that I looked into the lens of the camera and that Vision is somehow aware that he's in a TV show. Are any of us really aware that we're in a sort of simulation? Elon Musk seems to think we're in a simulation. I don't know. I mean, I am a rank amateur and I can't really see very well without my glasses and I don't wear glasses or contacts when I'm shooting. So maybe I look down the lens? But also at that point, I'm a robot, so they rebuilt my eyes. So maybe the CG made it look like I was looking down the lens. I was not aware that I was looking down the lens. Oh yeah, this is a story. Apparently it's appeared on Reddit. There, there was a movie being made that I really, really, really wanted. And the writer and director really, really, really wanted me. And I really, really, really loved the project. And I went to see the producer. And the producer kept me waiting for about 45 minutes. And then he walked in and he said, you're done. I said, excuse me? And he said, you're done in this business. Your career's over, you finished in this town, la la la. Anyway, I, um, I looked him in the eyes and I said, you know what? People have second and third acts in this town and you should mind your manners. And then I walked outside and my legs gave way and I thought, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe my career's over. Maybe my career's probably over. And I was on Sunset. I sat down on the pavement there outside of his offices and my phone rang and I didn't recognize the number and I answered it and it was Joss Whedon. And Joss Whedon said, do you want to be the vision in, in the Avengers movies? And I, said, and I said, yes. And then I turned around and I uh, flipped off the building. And that's a true story. And what it proves is life is curly. Uh, you never know what's going to happen next. After seven years and five films as a computer voice, Paul Bethany finally becomes one of the heroes. Ah, oh, I guess, yes, I guess that's true. Initially, I was given a job where I had to speak into a microphone for about two hours, and then everybody was thoroughly pleased with me, and they gave me a big bag of cash. And I think that Danny got pissed off at that arrangement and forced them to actually use me in the movies and make me show up on set. Not sure how it happened, um, but the, I, I, I believe that's the story. Paul Bettany would reprise Star Wars role for a series. Yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I mean, yes. If I was offered a Star Wars series where Dragon Boss appeared, I'd say yes, a hundred percent. Paul Bettany admits he could never have been bombed. Well. I used to have this theory that Bond couldn't be blonde, and then Daniel Craig is, is blonde, and he's very much Bond. And so I don't know whether that theory works anymore, but I never felt like Bond. I never felt like the guy with the gun running around. I don't know why. I just never felt like I was that guy. Okay, yeah, I'm really fond of this picture because it's my old mate, Dane Brown, who I adore and love and write with. And we are putting on my makeup, which does take somewhere in the region of not one to two hours, but one to three hours. And it definitely takes about an hour and a half to get off. Initially, not many people know this, but initially there was no costume. And initially there was only makeup. I went in for a makeup fitting and it took eight hours to get the makeup on. They suddenly realized that that left about two hours that they could shoot on me <laughs> in, in the day. So that was the, that was the end of that. We moved to a costume after that. 
This is the theory that says that there is some mysterious Avenger who's going to appear in WandaVision and people seem to think that that mysterious Avenger is, is Doctor Strange. Truth is, you know, of all of the characters that we were trying to keep secret, a lot of them uh, got out through leaks. There is one character that has not been revealed and it is very exciting. It's an actor that I've longed to work with all of my life. Um, we have some amazing scenes together and the chemistry between us is, I think, extraordinary. It was just fireworks on set. So I'm really um, excited for people to see that stuff. So yes, uh, the writer, Jack Schaefer, She's a bona fide genius. I think it was really fun for her to see all of the fan reactions and fan theories, and some of them are eerily accurate. But this one that mentions uh, Mephisto, I can't speak to right now because I'm worried about getting uh, fired. WandaVision makes Paul Bethany the first MCU. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, I read this. Um, I read this on Twitter. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was true. So then I checked it and it turns out it's true. And I'm hurtling towards um, 50 years old. So it was really, it was kind of an unpleasant feeling to me. I was like, 30, th th three decades? What are they talking about? And it turns out it's, it's, it's true. Wow, that is an amazing fan theory. Look, I'm gonna be honest, I'm supposed to not confirm or deny any of this. I do not know that to be true, but there are so many things that I don't know to be true that have then turned out to be true in the Marvel world. And mostly I go to like the premieres and stuff so that I can finally understand the film that I just dedicated six, seven months of my life to baking. I, I watch it and I go, oh, that's what we were, that's what we were shooting. Well, it could be true. Okay, so can I, can, the, the question is, can I tell you all why Vision is suddenly alive in WandaVision when he was dead during Infinity War? And the answer is no, because it would spoil everything if I did. What I can tell you is trust in Marvel. <laughs> they don't make mistakes like that. Sit back, buckle in, enjoy the ride. Stop asking so many questions. So thanks for watching. I'm sure you now know less than I do about what's going on in the Marvel Universe. Thanks for being interested in any of this. Uh, I adore you all.